Hey everybody, welcome to Fishing Planet. My name is Lady, and today I'm going to show you guys how to catch bass in Missouri. Uh, it's where we are at the moment. So if you go to uh, Last Songs of Summer, it's uh, so you start about here, and then you walk up to the river, and well, pretty much everywhere in this lake is where you can uh, can catch bass. Uh, with one thing in note, bass like to hang out alongside, or underneath stuff so uh, the dead tree over there perfect place the reeds awesome the willows over there great spot as well the canoes are lovely um, the patch of lilies there it's where they like to hang out too and then the reeds on this side so on the left side and this is uh, where I like to fish for bass a lot um, and it has to do with a couple of things. First off is that when I use a casting uh, casting rod or a spin casting, uh, I can uh, throw all the way up here and then reel back in all along these line of reeds. And I have the full length to catch a bass. So uh, that's awesome. Um, but first off, let's uh, show you guys um, what I'm fishing with right now. So here you see the Telefloat 650. It's uh, what you uh, start with. Then I have the Inspirecast 2000. It's a level 4 reel. Um, but you can also use the Mini Spin 800. It's what you get when you start the game. Or the Mini Spin 1200. It's what you can buy at level 3. Uh, I'm using Mono 0.18 line. And I have hook number 4. I have the Oval Bobber. And I'm using Red Worms. So it's uh, what, uh, what you start with. And then I have the leader depth uh, set to 50 centimeters. So here we go. Uh, so uh, their preferred spot is uh, along the reeds and then lily pads, uh, willows, boat, oh, kayaks, um, dead tree and then some more reeds. So first off let's start here. Now the telefloat won't let you cast this far. Uh, 21 meters is, uh, is the max right here. But that's okay. So the closer you cast towards uh, the reeds, the more chance you have on uh, catching a bass. If you were to cast here in the middle, it's more likely you catch, uh, because we're using uh, red worms and we have a small hook, it's uh, more likely that you catch a crappy or a pumpkin seed or a bluegill or a shiner, stuff like that. So, but here we go. We uh, have our first fish on and because we were so close to the reeds, most likely it will be... Uh, Yay, there we go. Yeah, it's a small, uh, largemouth bass. It's a young one. It's not a very big one. Uh, but still, it's a nice. Uh, it's giving us free experience. So we're going to keep it. Now, there's a, another spot where you can catch them. Uh, on float fishing. So we have the reeds here. And then we have the dead tree over here. If you are to cast right uh, behind it, you can uh, catch a bass. But... Um, you see this uh, dead branch sticking out, you can also uh, um, snack yourself on it. Well, not yourself, but your, your gear. So that's not a very good thing uh, to do. What you might want to try is stand all the way to the left and then uh, as far as into the water as you can possibly can. So right, can't go any further. And then uh, try to cast say right about there because when you reel in then your line will uh, go past the dead tree instead of uh, tangling itself up there so there's a second spot for uh, float fishing because that's what we're doing right now we have a bobber and then there's the third spot but I have to show you guys with my other rod um, because this one uh, can't cast out as far and this one can so um, I'll show you guys uh, this rod it's the Omni Float for 50. Uh, I believe it's level 6. Uh, you can purchase it. Then I have the Clista XSR 1400, uh, which is a level 8 uh, reel. Um, but you can also uh, put uh, put the Inspire cast on it, so uh, no worries about that. I'm using a Chubby Bubber, and the reason why you need a Chubby Bubber is because of the current that's uh, in the water. Uh, there's more current where we're going to throw, so you need it. And then red worms, of course, a hook. Um, now the bigger the hook, the bigger the fish. So um, we started with hook number four. This is a hook number two. You can also use a hook uh, 3.0 if you like. 
Uh, just remember that the bigger the hook, the bigger the fish, and of course your gear needs to be able to handle those type of fish. So if I were to say catch a fish that's over two kilograms with uh, this uh, this setup, uh, it's going to either uh, the fish will spool off the entire line, or I might break my line. Um, the reason why I'm breaking my line is because the line is uh, it's my weakest link in the setup. As you can see here, the line weight is of the rod is up to three and a half kilograms. Then the reel has a max rack of 1.85 kilograms, and the line is mono 0.8 has uh, sorry mono 0.2. Pardon me. It has a test of 1.8 kilograms. So the line is the weakest link. Anyways, enough technical talk. I'll show you guys where the spot is. So it's uh, it's here. Uh, it's a bit to the left and a bit behind the lily pads, and then say about here is where it is. So uh, this uh, zone, sort of say, it's um, right here is about 35 meters out all the way there, and then here is like uh, 30, and then when you come here it's 20 meters. So that's uh, that's where they like to hang out too. Now because this is a deeper area, you need to have your uh, leader set anywhere between 100 centimeters and say 200 centimeters. Now, I like to fish on 100 centimeters uh, because if I go a bit uh, deeper you can also catch uh, other fish like uh, bowfins. Uh, that's why I'm at uh, a meter. But um, just uh, try it out yourself. Uh, see uh, see what depth you, uh, you prefer. Uh, it's all fine. Um, if you are after the trophy bass this is also for floating. This is also the spot where they are. Um, of course you can also uh, catch them here. Um, now there's one thing about catching a uh, trophy bass in particular. And that's uh, the bowfin. And the trouble with bass and bowfin is they like nearly everything the same. So they like the same hours to be active on. They like the same depths to be active on. And they also like the same food. Um, there's one difference, both in prefer uh, cut bait more than the bass do. So, um, if you want to go after a trophy, ooh, there we go. If you want to go after a trophy, uh, a trophy bass, it's um, uh, if you are to use, uh, say, small cut bait or medium cut bait with a hook 3.0, uh, you might catch them. But uh, beware that you are also going to catch a lot of bowfins as well. So, um, oh, and this uh, fish seems a bit buggy the way uh, the bobber is moving. It's all... Uh, ah, there it goes. It's fine again. Cool. The oh my god! <laughs> Okay, I didn't expect that one. I know that there's unique bluegill there uh, and that you can catch them on a cloudy day. Uh, I didn't know you can catch them with red worms as well. Uh, but awesome. Okay guys, so uh, of course we're going to keep this one. And uh, this is even nicer than, uh, than catching a bass. Uh, I'm sure you guys agree. So uh, unique bluegills, uh, I will be doing a vid about this hotspot as well. Uh, just uh, notice the time right now. It's 14:21 uh, p.m. It's uh, or uh, half past three in the afternoon. Uh, half past two, my uh, my mistake. In the afternoon, uh, red worms hook number two and leader set set to 100 centimeters. So um, okay. Anyways, so <laughs> I didn't expect that to happen, but uh, all right, it's uh, it's awesome. Okay, what I'm going to show you guys now is, um, oh my, that totally brought me off my game. Um, okay, so uh, enough with float fishing. We are going to use lures, because that's what uh, you can also use, use to uh, catch bass. And um, uh, again, we use uh, the same uh, hotspots actually. Um, so you could cast all the way over there, and then reel it back in. And you can cast all the way over there and reel back in now. And I do know, <laughs> just to to tell you guys, if you use um, a silver 
uh, spoon. So right now I have a casting spoon, 14 gram uh, 2 pardo. It's the red and silver. But if you are to use um, this baby, casting spoon 9 gram number one, and the casting spoon, uh, I don't know how many grams, but the uh, number two, you can also catch uh, catch uh, tr uh, unique uh, bluegills uh, on this spot. So throw all the way over there, and then you reel back in. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now uh, another place you can uh, go for casting uh, or for lure fishing um, is between the canoes or the kayaks, um, and then you reel back in over here, and then the fourth place is over there, and you reel back in over here. So um, let's uh, let's do just that and. For fun, let's uh, try the casting spoon. Now you can start with uh, number two already, and then all the way up to 3.0 is what you can use to uh, to catch them. Uh, here I have the just the 190. Uh, you can purchase it at level six or level eight. Uh, Lodex 1000S. It also comes on the same level as the just the 190. I'm using braided line. Uh, well, then of course the casting spoon number one, silver one. So let's see what uh, what we can catch. Um, first off, I like to I see if my net is full, uh, so I have to kick something out of it in case we do catch a unique. Um, for those of you that don't know, um, it's like a trophy fish and and common fish. They pay in uh, common bucks, but unique fish they pay in gold. So it's always awesome to uh, to catch a unique. Um, let me uh, let me check just uh, on weight. Here I have uh, a young large mouth on, uh, but it's too small. I need uh, need to drop 300 gram. Okay, so I'm going to release uh, these two um, and this one. Okay, so now we're uh, safe to go in case we do catch. Uh, Catch a uh, catch a unique, and uh, of course we. Uh, I want to show you guys how to catch a bass. So let's uh, go for that as well. Or that uh, is a top priority now. So um, a real speed on level three, and what you do is a simple stop and go. And stop and go works like this: you hold the left mouse button for a second, and you wait. You release it and you wait for a second. So you hold it for a second, you release it and wait for a second. You hold it for a second, you release and wait for a second. And here you'll see stop and go and it has three dots. Now you can have uh, two dots and one dot. One dot means that, uh, you're doing it but it's either too fast or so too slow. Two dots it's you're doing it okay. Uh, and three dots it's you're doing it perfect. So that's uh, what you can, uh, can look for. So we're at two dots and that's uh, perfectly fine. Now, the moment that uh, we see tension rise here, that's when you hit the right mouse button. Uh, because then you want to strike, it means that there's a fish. And also, when you notice that right now it's like the fish goes up to here and then drops again. If it goes up all the way to here and then it drops, it means either of, um, one of two things. Or there's uh, plants, or the bottom is, uh, is uh, very... Uh, rises up for a moment. Or there's a fish toying with it. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now we don't know uh, which one of it is. Uh, so what you can do is just wait for a couple of seconds and then uh, reel in again. Or you can do a quick stop and go. What I'm doing right now. So instead of holding it for a whole second, you just tap it like so. So you do a quicker stop and go and try to attract the fish uh, that way. But anyways, I don't think uh, we are going to catch something right now. Now some people stop at 10 meters. Uh, the reason why I'm not doing that is because, as I said, here is where the bass likes to hang out as well. So only when I'm down to 5 meters do I reel in. And even then sometimes you see a fish uh, snapping at your, uh, at your lure. And then it will uh, will try to uh, to bite uh, bite it, and sometimes it succeeds. So then you can uh, 
you land a fish in like uh, five feet from you. <coughs> so I'll do uh, one more cast here, and then I'm going to show you guys what's in my uh, in my uh, net, so you can uh, see what, uh, what other types of uh, stuff I've used. A unique on red worms, my my. Now, oh, there we go. Fish on. And it's the best. Look, and there we go. A young largemouth. And we're going to keep it. So I'm going to show you guys what's uh, what's in my net, so you can see uh, what I've caught, caught so far. So first, uh, sort of by type. Okay, uh, scratch the unique uh, blue gill are uh, checking the the bases. So here you guys can see I used a casting spoon, uh, 2.0, excuse me, and I uh, caught uh, some uh, adult uh, largemouth bases. I used a grab, I used a shed, a uh, mini bass jig. A uh, different kind of color uh, casting spoon, and it was uh, one uh, red worms, and so that's it. Um, now, as you can see right here, I also caught uh, a catfish, uh, an adult one, a young one, and a bowfin. And the reason why I did that is because I want to show you guys this. Bass give the most uh, money per pound. So, um, to show you guys here, we have um, a young channel catfish of 700 grams and we have a largemouth bass of 700 grams. And here's the difference in rewards. It's like it's doubled. The young catfish gives 4, um, four uh, common bucks, whereas the largemouth rewards with 9 common bucks. Now the experience it's it's like close to a bit close to each other the the catfish gives less but the bigger the catfish uh, they they will give more experience than uh, than the bass but uh, money wise it's uh, it's a whole different ball game so if we go here you see that I have a largemouth bass of one kilogram and then I have a channel catfish of two kilograms now check the rewards. The one kilogram largemouth bass pays 13 bucks, whereas the two kilogram channel catfish pays 12 bucks. So all in all, if you want to grind money, go after the bass. Now, exp uh, experience-wise, I, I told you guys it's uh, uh, catfish give more, um, but money-wise, definitely the bass. It's it's what you want to uh, go after. Same with bowfins. So here we have a bowfin. And here again the bass, so as you can see both are a kilogram, it's like 40 grams difference, or even less, 36 grams to be uh, exactly. Experience wise they're the same, and both give 18 points, but money wise the largemouth bass is double the, the reward. Uh, here for the bovine you get only 6 bucks, and for the largemouth bass you get 13. So um, all in all, um, if you want to grind money, go after the boss. So that's uh, that's pretty much it. Now for our times, um, right now it was a cloudy day that I fished on, and uh, I started at 5 a.m. but I didn't get as much. So then I fast forward the time to 9 a.m. and then I did catch uh, quite a, quite a lot of bass, and you can fish on the entire uh, of the day. Uh, on sunny days. Uh, you start at 5 a.m. because then they're already alive and kicking. Uh, well, you can fish nearly the entire day. Sometimes between say 11 and 1 p.m. Uh, they get a bit sleepy, but uh, bass is what you can catch nearly uh, every time of the day. So um, that's pretty much it for uh, for right now. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope you guys uh, liked the movie. Uh, as said, I will do uh, videos about uh, the unique uh, bluegill. I'll also be doing fits about the uh, different techniques. So uh, lift and drop, stop and go and twitching. So stay tuned for those. Uh, for now I wish you guys happy days, tight lines and I'll see you later. Bye bye!